Lisa and welcome to Power Up with Lisa Wisner where we share life hacks on how you can be a power up hero in real life. Today we're talking about eating, moving and sleeping, the foundational protocols on how you can be a strong human. Now I want to remind you that anytime when you're working on your foundational principles of your life, it's really important that you find the right balance. Too much or too little of anything is poisonous. So what you're looking for is being flexible. So like a rubber band, you don't want to be too tight that you snap, but you don't want to be too loose that you can't even hold on to what you decided to move on. So the fastest way that we're going to be able to hack, eat, move and sleep is by listening or I guess unpacking a book called Eat, Move, Sleep by Tom Rath. So let's jump straight into the top tips on how Tom teaches us to live a strong, long life. Let's start with eating. His tip about eating is not about the quantity that you're eating, but the quality of the foods that you eat. Basically, eat more food from plants and less manufactured in plants. He also talks about sugar being the next nicotine. He talks about it being the illegal drug that's not illegal. So he talks about how it's really scary because it's part of everyone's daily food intake. But he talks about how processed foods that have sugar in them are like cancer eating cancer likes to eat them and any diseases like to eat that processed sugar so it's important for you to be very careful with your intake of sugar now for moving if you go to the gym and do an awesome one hour workout and then sit at your desk all day that is not improving your health in fact he says the consequences of sitting all day are like smoking so you need to limit your activity of sitting and increase standing. So he says even working out for two hours will not reverse the damage of sitting all day. So the tip is not to sit longer than an hour. So typically what I do is I have a timer on my Fitbit and it goes off every hour to remind me to stand. Or better yet, just have a standing desk at your job stand all day if you can, right? So just show up to meetings and sit at the meetings, but then when you're working and you're productive, stand. Because you're gonna spend time sitting when you're eating, when you're doing other things with your family. So if you're at work, spend some time standing. So last but not least, we're going to talk about the number one foundational hack, which is sleeping. Now this is not about getting more sleep, which you should, but he really talks about the top tip being that you need to stop hitting the snooze button and get up right away when your alarm rings. So basically, you ruin your good nights of sleep by hitting snooze and going back to sleep. When your alarm wakes you up, you're awake, right? But then now you snooze and then you go back to sleep and then your alarm wakes you up again. And the more you're snoozing, the groggier you're going to get. And it actually starts to reverse all the sleep that you've had through the night. So it's important for you to stop snoozing. As soon as your alarm goes off, just get up so you can power up your life. Think about one thing that you can do today that'll help you eat better, move better, and sleep better so you can take charge of your life take charge of your work and take charge of your destiny. I'm Lisa Winsner and I hope you learned a little bit about how to be a hero in real life because our world needs you to be your very best for you to be a hero. We want you to make it a powered up day so that we can make this world amazing.